Hello, everybody. As usual, we've had developments with my mic because shit like that. I think I fixed it. Hello, Flora Kragan. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, yeah, so as always, let me know if things are fucked up. All right. I vaguely, re oh, sorry. I vaguely recall what we were doing. Start from this frame. Yes. Chapter eight. Oh boy. Oh, we're, I now remember what we're doing. We're stopping the execution. Oh, actually, let me fix this. All right. Did that mess anything up? Oh, no, it's a little messed up. Oh, no. I did something crazy. That should hopefully fix things. Oh, no, it made it worse. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. Does this fix it? All right. Is this better? Ow. There's like a... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, there we go. You cannot hear the game. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought something like that might happen. I have... Is this? No, that's not it. Damn. I swear, like, every other time I do this, All right. I hope that fixes it. Yeah. Every other time I blew up my stream, just all of my inputs just stop working. I don't know why. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't read that. An execution with my memory gone. I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. And even I can sense the strong feelings of foreboding that hangs in the air. Damn, you really don't remember shit. You don't know what an execution means. <laughs> Maybe I'm too late? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what were those hand motions and backward walking? So, how's it going with the generator in the basement? What, what? What is he doing? <laughs> They're trying to fix it now. It's going to take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. I, I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here any at all. You promised not to talk about that. Ooh. What? <laughs> this is so bizarre. <laughs> Look, would you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? Yeah, I'm a little weirded out by it too. I can't stand looking at it if you don't stop and just might half a pound you. Oh my. This this is a glorious dance that's been passed down for generations. <laughs> when you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. We call it the panic dance. Oh, you literally meant the panic dance. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so strange. This is a special detention calling from the death chamber from the death chamber. <laughs> you know, that sounds dramatic, but they might actually just call that the death chamber. Although that sounds a little bit dramatic. I don't actually know what they call the execution room. The internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch black down here, though until they get the generator go back going. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hooks from headquarters. Oh boy. We can't let this existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoner somehow. Is Bailey dancing? 
<laughs> of course he's dancing. <laughs> Yep, you should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. <laughs> Once the generator is back up, I'll record it with the security camera. Trick time. <laughs> okay. Generator's still not up? I can't keep this up much longer. Believe me, nobody is asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead then? Me? You kidding me? Somebody has to do it. <laughs> if that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. Oh, damn, he's really going. Holy shit. He's fucking moving. Okay, I can't do that. My noodly soul is still not long enough. Damn. Let's... I think this is unavailable. Oh wait, no shit, it isn't. So this is the death chamber, eh? What's going on? I can't see anything. Is this what they call darkness? Damn, Sissel, are you forgetting more and more? <laughs> I feel like your memory is just deteriorating. I better do something about this situation. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Uh, oh, what's over here? Who the hell is this guy? He looks horrifying, I'll say that much. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go up there. Okay. Oh jeez, where did that wrench go? Without I can't tighten the last bolts on the generator. Sure wish I could see in the darkness like a cat. Or like a ghost, maybe. I swear, when I saw this posture, I'm just like, this is like a hulking monster-like pose, and I was just like, what the hell is over here? I've seen these things before, some kind of tool for turning things. Slanting up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn, it's too heavy. It won't bulge. Damn. Power supply, manipulate. I imagine that doesn't do anything. It's just some kind of control panel. It might be able to operate it. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to tell, though. I guess the first thing I need to do is restore that generator. Can't go there. Uh, light doesn't turn on. Water drop. Oh, fascinating. What is this? This is power distributor. Okay. Doesn't look like there's much to do from here. Let's try and operate this. Nothing. Nope. This is not good. Not good at all. I feel like a ghost is going to show up any minute now. Hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. Phew, never saw that one coming, did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator is going to be fixed soon, so I guess we should hang tight. Generator, eh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. It seems that's the first thing that has to be done. Alright, it doesn't look like there's much I can do here yet. So... Oh, there's also... What the hell is this room? Fascinating. 
All right, let's try. I'm going to someplace else. Go to the cells, maybe there's something here. Whoa, I wonder what happened in the world. I wonder what in the world happened here. I don't look for Detective Jowd. But if I tried to do something about the situation first. Caught. Although it doesn't look like we can do anything here. Yeah. All right. This, that's the emergency button. Does that do anything? Probably won't do anything, I imagine. But, you know, let's do it anyway. So with the power out, I imagine nothing happens. Oh, he's just like, nah, I don't want to do that. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Can't do much here. Yeah. Still can't read. Hmm. Okay. These are just examining. <laughs> All right. And then, yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah. I don't think there was anything in the guard room, but I'll double check anyway. Doesn't anybody understand how this feels to dance in the dark with nobody watching? Oh, there's one thing you don't have to worry about. What's that? Even if the light comes back on, the nobody watching part ain't gonna change. What did you say to me? That does it. Now you've made me all the more determined to dance. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, still can't do anything here. Yep. Alright. I guess I just missed something obvious. That or there's something... Uh, that or we need to go off-site. Alright. Lever did nothing. We cannot go down. I'll just double check. Doesn't appear to do anything. Oh, actually you know. Huh. I think I just operated some kind of lever. That is yeah. Nothing happens. Too dark to tell though. Yeah. Gotta fix the generator. This does nothing. This we can't do. Guess we can go here and try and go out of the ghost world and see what happens. Big guy seems to be taking a nap here. I doubt my paltry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. Kind of spooky when a ghost says it. All right. Okay, thank you. I don't have to go check other places. Okay, I'm just missing something. I figured as such. But yeah. So... We tried this already. This doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Alright. I f that, okay. I was wondering what that drop of water was doing. Okay, that's how you get down. Okay. All right, we've moved finally. There we go. Oh, hey, there it is.
There, done. That's a hell of a generator. Did it. Now the lights are back on, but what happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. I better see if I can pick up some more information. Can't seem to shake the bad feeling I've got. And then, is this dude awake? Probably not. He's still asleep. I need some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate. I'll give it a try. Some lamps came on. Not sure what that means. Maybe that changed the situation, though. Oh, I should probably do the lever thing. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, thank God no one died. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, something really bad happened in this room. It's like there was some kind of explosion in here or something. And it looks like... The center of the explosion was that chair. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. I bet that's what happened. All the debris damaged the wiring. Well, I was thinking with... <laughs> I think it was divine retribution. Don't be stupid. Prisoner wanted to be executed, you know. Oh no. Inspector Zhao, I guess I was too late. So when are they going to pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. So Detective Zhao had already been executed. Looks like they're really... There was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay, this isn't a big problem for me. But if the body's taken t from the mortuary, uh, that'll be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. Uh, so, I still can't go down there. Let's, so, probably something changed in other places. Let's click on this. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it, it'll blow up again. Or let loose with the juice. Yikes, shut up, man. Accidents can happen without anything, after all. Let's just get this thing fixed, come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why? Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. A chair that gives shocks, can I use that somehow? <laughs> can I just murder this guy? What happens? Let's see. I murdered him. <laughs> oh, I didn't murder him. Oh. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. Okay. I can just serial electrocute this person. <laughs> that was quite a zap. Yeah, you did get knocked back. All right. Yeah, normally anytime someone gets shot, thrown back from an electric shock, they uh, usually die. Let's see this. Um. Water droplet. Oh boy. Head piece. Rock. S 
son of a... Oh, hey, I'm over here now. Ain't that convenient. We reached the end. same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this phone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. All right. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. Where? Am I? This is the ghost world, the land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective... Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you two. This is getting a little old. I guess I'll just give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing, and I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash. Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me, I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn to try and stop your execution. Lynn? Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left riding, lying around. I remember now. About Lin, Chowd, and the execution. What about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel. It's pretty good. There's some great bass in this. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry, it must have been a very big trash. To, it must not have been a big piece of trash to me. That's all right. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. All right, let's see if I can do this. Special prison cell block. This is the past, four minutes before my death. That's right, you'll get to see your own execution. That's a morbid th thing to do. And then we're gonna change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she, about what I did? Yeah, she did. Then it really... Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. <laughs> but Lynn believes it is. Okay, let's get started. Clog, no. I'm in position. Trash cans full. So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah, I wonder how many years it's been the last time you... You weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution. But, you know, I wonder why the Justice Minister s suddenly signed the order. It's 
definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, alright. Prisoner D99, it's time. L let's go. All right, man. I'm I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through with this unpleasant experience. Wait, what? N no, we uh. Oh well, I guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and for me. It's all about collecting experiences, huh? <laughs> Prepare to test. Throw the switch. Oh! Oh shit. He fucking explodes. <laughs> so this is the execution, huh? Seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. <laughs> and a lot less cruel than to just have a, something blow up in front of the person. <laughs> Must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you. I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. I was an example of a failed execution, although the outcome was the same. <laughs> failed? They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs and I guess it had a short. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion... Hmm, I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned and I'd still wind up just as dead. So what should I do? Beats me. <laughs> You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. He's not making this easy. That's true. Okay, we can go. How's it going down there? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. I, I see. It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. But that chair. It hasn't been used in a long time. What if... Bailey? There's nothing we can do now. It's time. Alright, I'll send the guards to his cell. I'll have them call when they get into position. Let's go there. I have this strange feeling of unease. How about you? How do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, I love these two. I feel jumpy and jittery. I can't sit still. I feel like I might just start dancing at any minute. If you're gonna dance, let me know. I'll get the video camera ready. Nobody listen to my concerns. I know, you have such a hard job. You're such a sensitive, emotional individual in such a harsh environment. You don't belong here. You deserve so much better. Concerns her. So he's worried. That man is always worried about something. Also, we get a new sick, tiny character portrait for Jowd now. Whatever he's worried about, it always comes true without fail. Listen to me, that chair is dangerous. I know, Bailey. That's why I don't you advise you to sit on it. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Machines like that are very sensitive to dust. If the guys throw the switch and the chair shorts out, there might be a huge explosion down there in that death chamber. Oh, come on, nothing's gonna happen. Besides, even if we're up on the off chance it does blow up, we're way up here, we'll be fine. I know, why don't we go and test it out first? No way, I do not want to get blown up. You go by yourself. So this spot would be safe, even if it does blow up, eh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. 
If the switch in the death chamber is thrown, the chair will blow up. That's right. And if the chair blows up, the execution can't be carried out. Only stands to reason. And if there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes, nobody will die. Precisely. Very nice, Sissel. You hit upon some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. Okay. Let's, uh... It's no use. I can't use the phone lines right now. Right now? I can only move over phone lines in the past when it's in use. Sadly, this applies to the internal extensions as well. I see. It looks like life is tough for everyone, even you. You too. So, I literally, there's no actions I can take, so I guess I'll just click these. Getting the chair to shore out when nobody's around it. Sounds like it could be a plan. But in the password, I can't just use the phone lines whenever I want. These guards seem to be in a fog. I doubt they'll be using the phone much. Hmm, maybe I need to start over. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, wait, never mind. They're just going to move. Let's click this. All right, then. Four minutes from now. This chair will short out and explode, and you'll die. Very sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fucking harsh. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for putting you in... For, I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? Yeah, you're being really fucking... Throwing so much fucking shade. <laughs> Alright, I won't read this. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's not much I can do here. I'm going to assume something happens. There we go. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it. Let's go there. Okay. So, let's think. This is, can I unclog this? Open up. Alright, my jam grooved out of the, out the clog. Now get down there to Sausage Head. Go, go, go! Damn, he shimmied fast. In the present world, four minutes into the future, Sausage Head was lying passed out in the tunnel. Not knowing about the execution, he must have kept digging and digging. And the guards didn't notice he was gone? So I guess Curry Man's future has now changed a bit. Alright then, we have a save point. Uh, what can I do from here? I can ring the bell. Uh... Can't do much else, so I guess that means we're bell ringing. Let's see what my thoughts are. 
Sissel. I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Almost time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's gonna get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going into for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. Okay, so I mean, you probably need to... Ring the bell. Uh, we can't possess anything on his person, so that means we probably have to wait for something to happen. Uh, can't go there. Now we can get here. Alright. Okay, we ride the spoon down. It's all making sense now. <laughs> Wait, no, shit. Oh, fuck. Wait a second. Wait. I guess... Wait, no, I thought we would ride his spoon down. We can't use the phone. Can I ring the alarm? No, it's not working now. Maybe they like things quiet during an execution. The, this guy is a bit too detached. When I was alive, people thought I was a bit too passionate about things. Alright. Uh, this. We got the napkin, his wine bottle. Alright, if I remember correctly, did something with the wastebasket. Ooh, you can sure pack it away. The detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's what I always say. You have a young people that follows that advice to the letter. What are you gonna do now, Cecil? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. All right, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that? That huge can just went into the air, flying. Yeah, that's my ketchup can. Ketchup? I just love ketchup. Can't get enough of this stuff. I probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm, can't seem to muster a laugh over that one. It did kind of make a big O mark. Oh! Oh shit. Alright. Alright. Alright, that very strategic hanging of his hand. Okay, I think I understand what, what I have to do now. Pretty sure what I have to do is when he sticks out his hand, or I don't know if this is. I'll do this just in case this does anything. I don't think this does anything, because if I recall correctly, that was something we already did. Yeah. All right. I'll 
Also, I see that image on the back, and I... And I, uh... I think of the worms from... What is it? Oh, God. The Metroidvania with uh, the bugs. How am I forget? How am I forgetting what that Metroidvania with the bugs is called? Oh, how am I forgetting this shit? Hollow Knight, that's one. I, inst I see the, like, the grandpa worm grub dude from uh, that game. All right. Oh, did I screw up? Fuck. Shit. Oh, did I do it? Oh, just in time. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I did it. too early. Alright, let's get on that spoon of his. <laughs> Sausage Head sure looks happy. So now that he's seen the O paper, he'll go down to do the tunneling. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. Here come my escorts. Uh oh, I haven't found my path yet. I see mine quite clearly. The path to the chair, that is. What do I do? I mean, I was maybe a second late, but I'm pretty sure that I'm almost there. All right, we made it. I wonder what happens if I operate this. It's pretty some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. It's already on, the buttons are locked. Boom. Was I early enough or did I do it? What just happened? Power's down throughout the whole facility. No way, if the power's down, that means all the cell bars open automatically. Damn it, the internal funds aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can't be counted out and your life is saved. Fate averted. <laughs> You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself and I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? Yep, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. If the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. That seems like a design flaw. I thought the thing that they did was if there's like a fire alarm, they don't leave the prisoners to be like incinerated. Power outage seems bad, bad design. But, you know. So in other words, now the, now's the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's go back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Well, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. That is true. It was also an explosion. <laughs> spoon, huh? I'll see you when we get back, Cecil. Also, that was an interesting tune there. Now that the execution can't be carried out and Detective Jout is safe for the moment, a new president has been born. However, Jout is still isn't safe from execution, of course. Guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison.
Oh no, the hardest section of the game. Gotcha. And now I'm back in the present, it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see, but I feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all, all the cell bars opened automatically. Plus now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lynn. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now just as much danger and now is just as much danger as before. <laughs> okay. So is the water dripping there? Water is not dripping, but I did also get the recommendation to head for the spoon. Let's see if something happened. Detective Jowd told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present, so here I am. The belt, better go back. Whoa, I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was a good timing. I need the cover of darkness to help the detective escape, but first I have to find him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> shit. I did this a bit of an escalation. <laughs> you just see enough guards and it's just like, all right, full body armor, night vision goggles, as a f fully automatic weapons. And I'm just like, holy fuck. I was not expecting that, but I guess I did see those in the one room. <laughs> hmm. Looks like there's some hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Jowd yet. I figured they're not killing them. <laughs> it was just like an escalation from like the... Yeah. Yeah. It was just an escalation from like, this is our cartoony prison with like, you know... <laughs> adorable characters who even the prison guards are. And then there's just like, bam, automatic weapons, night vision goggles. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's, the, that's a different atmosphere. All right. Well, we can do internal dialing now. Okay, he, he's not over here. What? What's that red light? Oh, huh, it looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Oh, there he is. Doesn't look like escape's gonna be easy. Oh yeah, very round. Oh, I can hang out on that dude, but let's let's talk to Jode. Oh Jode. Ah, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here, but how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. You're with the main use of sausage head, spoon, and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it's <laughs> it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. <laughs> An escape strategy, huh? This is going to be interesting. Let's do it. <laughs> so let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under cover of darkness, huh? I don't know that I have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move, I want you to give me a signal. 
Okay, fine, but how? They don't have voices. Even if we they did, we'd have to be quiet. Don't worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it, and you'll see how it works. The detective likes to dive right into things even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that, can, that's, that can't be right. You know, you see a prisoner trying to escape during the raid, just fucking shoot them. <laughs> I don't know if... I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, yeah, so and because of the special status, they're not prepared for all for mer they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters looking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guards' line of sight, eh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Now about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. You what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Now, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this, uh... Moon? I, I don't even know what to call that, but I, I do see it. Oh, it's your face. I see it now. Yeah, where'd that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you touch the me icon, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So, for example... If you move to that spoon and touch the me icon, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Cecil. Alright. So that red light... That's the light of night vision goggles on one of our guards. You can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving, too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Okay. I see what you mean about this being very difficult. So, I imagine I want to be on the bulletproof vest because that's a moving thing. Okay, let's see his pet. Okay, fascinating. So he's just going to... Let's do our Metal Gear Solid impression and just memorize the guard patterns so that we know what we need to do. Okay, so this dude's just turning around. Gotcha. Alright, so... There are a lot of things I could do. Let's see if he can hide under the table. Oh, that, that's the wrong button. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, he's so dead. There he is. Okay. If he enters the cards, it's over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. Take a good look around and check out what the enemy is doing. And we get the neighboring cells. Well, that's definitely nice to not see him getting shot to death. I do appreciate that. Yeah. So if there's one thing I think might be a little difficult is to know what's a hiding spot versus him just moving. Because I'm like, 
my thought was there is like, oh, just hide under the table. And it's like, oh no, he's just going to stop in midair <laughs> right there. So that's definitely going to be something that will be hard to figure out. Other than, I guess, by trial and error is what's a hiding space versus he'll just stand in the open. <laughs> Alright. And so... This is really as far as I can get while being able to see. I hope this game doesn't expect me to have like a timer in my head to just know what way he's facing even though I can't see. Cause that, oh, actually wait, no, I can do this. Okay, cause I'm like, that would be kind of bullshit if I had to do that. All right. Let's see if he can do that. All right. Or wait, no, never mind. All right. Let's give this a go. Fucking book it, dude. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> The guards are on the move, now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. And if I recall correctly, I can use the D-pad that I don't have configured on this computer emulator to sense the same things. Yes. Also, admitting to emulating DS games because I did not invest the like a thousand dollars to get a DS capture card set up <laughs> because why the hell would anyone pay for that shit holy shit DS capture cards are insane all right all right all right I don't think I need to talk to him yet, but... <laughs> and then here, this dude is just gonna walk up the stairs, if I remember correctly. And if I remember... I really wish I could drag in this ghost view to kind of actually see what's happening. Because it's, it's kind of useless to drag in the dark here. And then just have to constantly check between these. Hmm, this area, is un this area is a blind spot for the guards. They won't find him here, this spot is safe. Okay. I appreciate the game telling me that, actually. All right. Because if they didn't tell me that, it's definitely... I, I do not like the guessing game of guessing what is the hiding spot versus him standing out in the open. All right. Yeah, move, move. Oh, shit, I forgot about that dude up there. I did not remember that dude. What just happened? Apparently there was a hunter looking in the ceiling. Did you do something about him? It's so dark, I can't even see the bullet coming. So what, he, he dodged the bullet if it wasn't dark? All right. Oh, we have this. Oh, we can't do fate averted things. Ugh. I guess this makes sense. Because we're not actually in one of those things. Okay. Okay. All right. Alright. 
All right. Yeah. I wonder what happens if I... Oh, I missed this. Oh, well. So there's a guy up there. Let's see. There we go. We have a valve that we can't interact with. Hatch mechanism. More valves, waste packet, toilet, okay. Doesn't look like that does much yet. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice this was a way I could go. All right. Oof. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so I guess we just have two guards doing the rounds now. Or maybe he'll... I wonder if he'll go back in and reestablish. Let's see what this... <sighs> oh! Oh, what's happening if I do this now? Okay. So I think I kind of see what I'm going to have to do. So if I'm reading this right, this lets me alter the guard's patterns such that I can... Uh, potentially change their patterns so that there's a blind spot that I can get him through. That's kind of what I'm reading this as. Alright. Although, let's, let's see what happens if he goes up and the hatch is already closed. What does he do? Oh, he just avoids it. Okay. Oh, he falls down every time. Okay. Fascinating. What happens if it's... So, let's say if I close this... and then see what happens this time. So he doesn't fall. Does he go back to taking like a sniper position? Or does he like go down the stairs? Oh, he continues, okay. And then what does he do over here? Oh, I could have gone further, I guess. Where is he going? Okay. Gotcha. All right, he, now he's just on patrol again. And, uh, okay. Good to know, good to know. All right. Where am I? There I am, okay. Let's... Uh, 
Uh, wait, not too far. Or actually, no, let's just do this. Oh, damn it. I didn't get there fast enough. <laughs> Somebody's falling through it. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's already gotten through it. now. Oh, we did it! Round. Okay. Now, I imagine this part is pretty difficult. So, we're here, and then I have to think about what's this guy doing. I also have to figure out... I wonder what happens if I talk to him. Okay, next is this... Oh, he gives me hints! Okay, this is nice. You have to avoid those guards somehow. Where should I lead you to? There isn't a safe spot anywhere. We'll just have to wait till the guards go past somewhere on the stairs. Go past somewhere on the stairs. Even the craziest spot will do. If it's strength you're worried about, I have plenty of that. Can you use the strength to knock the guards out for me? Well, they do say my punches are faster than a speeding bullet. I have my doubts about that though. Yeah, I, thought, I guess punch is no match for a bullet. Okay. Alright. I wonder where his hiding spot will be. Or if this is the no hiding spot, you just need to, like, actually get places now. Okay. I can't imagine he can hide in that hatch. So this is going to be it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I figured as such. I just need to find the hiding space. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Because it's probably one of these that I can go to. It would need to be open, though, is what you would that would suggest, though. Well, let's see what happens if I do that. Back. All right. I wonder if I go here, will he go there? Or maybe there, who knows. Oh, I was a second too early, dang. All right. Okay. Oh, thank God, they gave me a save point. I was going to be like, that would be annoying if I didn't have that save point. Okay. All right. And that's open. Okay. I do need that person 
to go past this thing, I think. I wonder if he can get here if this is open or closed. Who knows? We'll find out. You want me to climb up into the ceiling? Okay. Oh no, he's coming back, dang. Oh, that's not where I wanted you. I think their patterns might be off sync now. I might need to have that guy fall down again so I can get him in sync. We'll find out. Yeah, I think we need to have him fall again. See if he could get here. I wonder if I do this, can he get here? We'll find out. Why are you so slow? Oh geez. Oh, he's in the ceiling. Oh, thank God. All right. That isn't quite where I was expecting you to go, dude, but I won't be upset. All right. Now, what happens if I tell you to go here now? Can I just have you hide in the ceiling? Let's find out. Yo, oh boy, he round. <laughs> He's so round. Alright, I'll talk to you because you'll probably give me a hint. But I think I have an idea of what to do now. I bet you didn't think I could get up in here, did you? I have to admit I'm a little surprised. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. <sighs> come on, come on, don't worry, we're almost there. Now we have a chance of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see for this guy. I don't think there was much for me to possess over here. Oh, there's the bunk, never mind. Where's the, oh, I can hide under this bunk is the next place I can hide, it looks like. Okay, 
I see, I see. And I also see what they mean by making a run for it or something like that. Are there any guards over here I, that I just haven't noticed or some shit? Okay, yeah, I thought so. They wouldn't make it be that easy for there to already be a guard here. Um, since we're in the ceiling, can you just, like, roll yourself over here? Let's find out if you can just fucking roll. Alright. Let's see, do you do it? You! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking roll, dude. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right. Now, what do you do? Are you literally just here scoping it out? All right, you look like you're just here waiting to kill somebody. Got it. I suspect. Oh, yeah, these still don't do anything. All right, I'm gonna assume. Oh, I know. I think I know what to do. This isn't that bad. Boop. Yeah, this isn't that bad. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Um, let's see if I can just tell him to climb up here. Can you do this? Yo, dude. Holy shit. get in there. So what do you think? I'd say if we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Sissel. Thanks. The basement generation has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. I did it, and I didn't even do a, use a guide. Oh, wait, no shit. Fucking book it, dude. <laughs> Woo, we just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. You better be fucking kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I don't know anybody welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She just went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report into the justice minister? Is that it? Hmm, I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you've went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. All right, Cecil, until we meet again. So now I saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? Who can say? I guess all I can do is believe Lynn at this point. Detective Jude was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure he'll be talking to him again. Actually, let's look around. Where are the people? JK lol, there are literally no people. Oh, oh no, no! Oh no, OBS, don't do this to me. I accidentally clicked an element in OBS and it was not happy with me. Oh, let's fix that. I don't wanna just randomly click and drag chat all the way across the sc my screen. Oh fuck. All right, let me know if chat is fucked. I accidentally clicked and dragged it someplace else. <laughs> Actually, let's just let's just do that. Oh wait, no fuck. I'm such a fuck. 
I am such a fuck, but I'm also such a not great streamer. <laughs> Alright, let's play the game and not fuck everything up. Nothing left but an empty cell. No sense in standing here, I might as well go back. Back upstairs using the internal phone. Yeah. Alright, yeah, there's nothing going on here. Makes sense. But Detective Joe's Until We Meet Again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Panic dance. Hello, this is... Sissel, are you there? Hello, who's this? Well, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you, if you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait, wait a minute. You got a new phone number. That call, who was it from? I don't know, some weird call. Uh, but, but who? Who will call an end to my dancing? Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest, then. Which will stop first, my dancing or the turning of the planet? Yeah, good luck with that. Where be we? At the end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Ooh, we're getting some interesting instruments here. Oh, shit. That our great escape plan has ended in failure. <laughs> Just as a fun fact, we have a song called Trauma. I wonder what's gonna happen. Never expect to see you here, Inspector Cavanell. I believe that's my line, old friend. What are you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. I couldn't get it to the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. I wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now that I've found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean after all. Thanks for coming, I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's gonna happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? That is pretty meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, you lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? In return for fu tonight's fun little game, what is it? I saw it, you know, that picture you were painting in your cell tonight. It was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but I can't talk about you about, I can't talk to you about that now. Well, why not? Because I, I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective, I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you a lead at least. A lead, what is it? 
A long time ago, I gave Lynn something to hold on for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lynn's apartment. And that's about the only help I can give you right now. <laughs> that man pointing the gun at you right now, they say he's your good friend. We were when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. Top of the elite. Getting head is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat. For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. But the world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanel has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like sending his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned cr criminal after all. And that's why he has a gun pointed at me right now. Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial. And that's what was decided. No problem there. But still, this is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? I... I was sentenced to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was good for. What do you mean, that's not all it was good for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? It was 10 years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl and stole away the life of a man. 10 years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be... Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop the weapon. Stay back, if you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still yelling. thing. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jude, are you gonna shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this guy. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. And the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is execution. I mean, I don't know, man. Some person's holding a gun at some kid. I mean, certainly that might not have been the best course of action, but like, you know. <laughs> I would, it's pretty reasonable, but I guess being torn up about it is all right. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. J let me just make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely.
Sizzle, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path? Linda's at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. <laughs> Hello? Everything's fine here? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, Lin! <laughs> oh, Lin, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Lynn, what did you do? <laughs> Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um... The chicken kitchen is next door! Goodbye! Hmm... Sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? <laughs> oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Nice. A present, if you will. There's nothing like it, baby. If there's nothing like it, don't throw it. <laughs> What's this, a pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm not good at choosing presents. Are they gonna hug? <laughs> Are they gonna have crying hug? This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. <laughs> Did he just slap him on the back? <laughs> They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope, and no one, co no cores either. <laughs> Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I'd better go find Lin. I'll follow the path Detective. Joe had pointed out to me the path to the Justice Minister's office where Lynn went to try and stop the execution. Now that my assignments to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lynn at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Joe's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lynn about it? I just don't know. This time, Lynn isn't dead. But the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. I do recognize this room. This is the, uh, the room of, uh, the husband that, uh, the husband of the writer lady. I'm glad Lynn isn't dead. What in the world is she doing? Then again, do I really want to know? What is she doing? <laughs> That's a rather s strange posture. <laughs> okay, it makes sense now. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's talk to the Justice Minister. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Hey, there you are! What kind of greeting is that? And shoving somebody's poor soul out of the way to, like that? I gotta say, though, no matter where you go, somebody always seems to turn up dead. Sorry about that. <laughs> what did you do this time? Did you murder someone, Lin? <laughs> who, is the, who is it this time? Is this the Justice Minister? Yeah, the man who signed the order to carry out Detective Joe's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Oh boy, of course he was already dead. <laughs> oh boy, I wonder what happened this time. Well, and? How'd it go? Was Detective Jones still alive? He had already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... Oh, you did! Oh, I'm so glad! Wait a minute, did you say but? I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About the other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Joe? I can't believe it! Inspector Cabanella would never betray Detective Joe. Just so you know, Detective Joe himself said it was the right thing to do. Anyway, I better take care of the Justice Minister here. Right, and I have lots of questions for him, too. Back we go, then, to four minutes before his death. <laughs> Emma! Oh, excuse me. What? Alright. I'll do as you say. Oh. Is Emma held hostage or some shit? This is terrible. Why doesn't she answer? Ah! Uh. Oh. Is this the heart attack dance? Yeah. Oh, this is the heart attack dance. Medicine. Gah. Water. Oof. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up. He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. It just looks like he could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the f foolish and pathetic man is him. Oh no, I think he gets it. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestep that one, didn't he?
No need to think too hard about this one. All I have to do is get him his medicine to him. Pretty simple. There's one thing that concerns me. What was that telephone call the Justice Minister got all about? Even right after that. It was right after that his health took an instant downturn. Oh, you get a cool character portrait too. <laughs> Never seen such a foolish, pathetic, and strange man. Uh, I think you'd better stop there. Uh, phone. Emma! Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Who is this? Em Emile's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? No! I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My, my daughter, is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demands known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand, I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation there's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You'd do well to remember that. Ah. And of course it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. <laughs> well. We can, if, we, if we go there, I don't think we stop the murder. Or the death. But... I want to learn. Oh, ha! We figured out. Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of a tonight's deal had leaked. Also, in it. Yeah, it's just a recording. I hate you, Mama. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. What's taking the good salon to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. <laughs> Alright, we can't really go anywhere. But we did learn some interesting news that this is a not a false kidnapping. I can't use the phone right now. Like I said, all women are like tra oh. <laughs> okay. That and this are hardly related. I'm glad someone's calling about. When in the past I can only use the line when the phone is being used to make a call. All right. Well, I think this is us telling us to reset. Uh oh. This woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot. I can't use the telephone line either. Looks like I fell into a trap. Stop saying that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think I'd better rethink things here. Let's 
See, this is why when you have hostages, you make them say something strange. Because the that way you can confirm that it's actually them. Kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what that word means, but it's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man, huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I better do something about that medicine. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I could, I'd spill them on his desk right now, but unfortunately I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man. Dude, you're... Huh? He wears his important-looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. What does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable, shabby excuse of a man. I think you've already quite so said quite enough. I wonder where he dials now. Oh, this is probably him trying to dial his, uh, his wife, I think. If only I could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks this pitcher on the floor at the end of his four minutes. Huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Oh, I missed the thing. Dang. All right, I can flap this. Okay. Looks like I can't do much, so I guess we're gonna have to do something with this. Yeah, none of these do anything. All right, I can't dial. Yep. Okay. Why doesn't she answer? Alright. We gotta do something with this flag. when he knocks his pills way over here. Because there is this entire half of the room that we don't seem to use. Uh-oh, here it comes. It's where an anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man, huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple, why doesn't he understand? There wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over though, I can't give up now. Medicine. Okay. All right, the medicine bottle. Okay. Oh, that did nothing. Lovely. I do not think I will make it in time. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I didn't do it. All right, let's restart. This way I don't have to watch that again. All right. Oh, thank God it isn't forcing me to do that conversation again. All right. medicine to the minister, but hmm. Only a few seconds left, it isn't enough time. Such a short-sighted man, huh? After he escapes us just as we are about to pull it in. We have to grab it while we can. Not only happiness, but dreams, love, and hope, too. Ah, yes. Clearly someone here is overly naive. I don't know. He just sounds like he's poetic. Or just thinking about things on a grand scale because he's like getting divorced and some shit and he's sad. Anyway, there isn't enough time to do anything in this state. I think I just really think this from the beginning. Okay. Let me know if that's not what I need to do. So, it would appear the only object that has actions associated with it is this flag, so. Maybe I'm missing something with the flag, and this is a lot simpler than I thought it would be. There we go. Oh, we did it. Alright, this is a lot simpler than I thought it would be. But you know, this makes sense. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. Still breathing, apparently. But it looks like far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? Can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I bought some time to get this medicine to him. All right. Uh. Well, let's see what happens. I'm not quite sure what happens from here. Well, we just wait for the thought bubble. The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems to be the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? Just for a second, while the minister was drinking the water. Okay. Okay, so it says I need to wait from the beginning. Oh, I forgot. I thought, okay, this is different than I remember. I forgot that once you do a fate change, it's like permanent, even if you do from the beginning. All right. Because now... We can sit in the medicine bottle. The flag should whap, even though we aren't actually in it.
All right. Well, let's see. Does this actually, or am I remembering this wrong? Does the flap whap when I'm not in flap when I'm not in it? Or am I remembering something wrong? Nope. Okay. All right. All right. I just have to be quick about it, I guess. Here, I get knocked over, but so can I like flap it? All right, this is the last moment I can be on the medicine bobble. I don't know if anything happens here. I flapped the flag, but that was the last moment I could do that. Does this save him? Nope. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will have to be fast. Gotcha. So, okay. Objects move from here on out. Okay, that's what I was missing. Okay. Also, I appreciate all of the hints, Flora Kragen. 
I think I want to struggle a little bit before. I'll, I'll generally ask before if I'm like, I really don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I think I can figure most of these out. It just might, I'm just probably not very great at it. Oh, no, you're good. I appreciate all the hints. Yeah. Okay, we can't move down yet, but we can probably start sending documents flying. There we go. Oh, we can't examine the documents? Okay. Okay, time for the next step. How about this medicine bottle? The minister's going to make a full recovery. I have to deliver this thing to him. How is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Okay. So, it's fairly apparent to me, or at least my preliminary thought is, we swing the sword and it will move the medicine bottle. But... Hanging basket. What does turning this do? Oh, fascinating. This, this should do something. I wonder what this does. Okay. Well, we knock something down. I get the suspicion that something needed to be done. Or... What does this do? Spin the globe. Oh! That was a... Uh, <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, get here and see what this does. Fascinating. Hmm, that looks really good. If only the medicine bottle was under that swing. I bet it would go flying to the, to the wrong side of the room. I think I'm starting to form a plan here. Alright. See ya, Flora Kragen. Hope laundry is fun. Or better described, warm. Because there's nothing quite like the warm, loving feeling of just hugging fresh laundry. If y'all haven't done it, anyone who else is watching, if you ever wash your, or dry your bed linens, just wrap yourself in them as they get out of the dryer. It's, it's great. Okay. So... I think I need to restart something, but... Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. It was so close. If the swing had just a little more reach to it. I think I better look for something else. Okay. Alright, I think I know what we gotta do now. We probably need to get that thing to fall out not onto the sword, though. That was pretty loud. Iron is a lot heavier than it looks. There's some pretty thick iron. I don't want to drop that on my foot. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay. I wonder if I needed that. I probably need that. Because if I suspect what I need to do... will fall and it'll be in the wrong direction, but we'll do it anyway. Alright. Urn is pretty light. There's no getting it back. I guess I better think carefully when I drop it and when. Okay. This is more complicated than I was thinking. Okay. So, I think we've... I read my thought bubbles. All right, so this is the light one. All right. So we can't interact. We've pretty much used everything at this point, so there's nothing really we can interact with anymore. So... Our end goal here is we need to get the globe onto this sword. And we need to think, how can we get that there? So... The globe can fall to the left or the right. And so... If it goes to the right, it falls on the sword, and I don't think it can leave the sword. We can check that, though. Because I recall when I spun it, it did not come off, so we can't let it fall on that. We do have to think about these vases. One is heavy and one is pretty light. So... I think the question I have is... Assuming that, so I'm pretty sure I'm making a bit of an assumption that I need to get the globe on here because they, they suggested that it's pretty likely what I need to do. 
because that's, that's what they're suggesting. But the question is, how do I get the globe over here? That's the question I have difficulty with. So... So, all right, and so if we go here, we can have the vase fall. Oh, it moved to a different place. Okay, interesting. All right, so that suggests to me, oh, we can continue to roll this. Okay, never mind. That's uh, convenient. Okay, I think I know what to do then. Yeah, this is it's a pretty light frame for its size. Yeah, it would have to be to not smash that urn. A lot of a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man. Huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key is to what order the objects are dropped in. Yeah, I think it's... I have a pretty good idea now that I... have realized that you can roll the globe after it's already fallen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then here. Oh, thank God it doesn't continue to roll off the ramp that we have. We did it. Boom. I did it. My medicine. Medicine. Ah. That was, no, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're gonna overdose, dude. Don't do it. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think he may have taken too much medicine. Such a greedy man, huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? I'll cut this guy some slack. There, see? They reuse the... That was a lot of work. Oh, well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the president. Or the present, not the president. <laughs> And so, the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the fur is on his brow are even deeper now. Lynn in her classic Lynn pose. And apparently our lady detective is the present cause of those furrows. <laughs> Look, detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence! All they had was his own confession! 
But it was no ordinary confession, it was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back. I told you, I don't want anyone coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, he doesn't seem he wants to dodge his punishment. But when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. When the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duties as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Lynn's looking like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Alright. Noodly soul is not big enough. But I wonder. Oh, I can't. Oh. I was expecting something else, but. Sissel, there you are! It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is! Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all! The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn about what I heard about the kidnapping. A kidnapping? They kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness! But still... Still for no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister, then? The poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right. Sure. Not very handy, is it? Having no legs. <laughs> Alright, Lynn. What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this, uh, pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. You are just fucking holding a sword. <laughs> By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of, of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Ah. No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Do you remember me? My dreams are talking to me. Oh, that's a great character portrait. Hmm, so even now I'm a dream. Eh? Mr. Minister? We know, we know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Ah! Your medicine! Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped if he isn't executed tonight. My daughter, my Anne, Emmeline. But if that execution isn't the right thing to do... Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it, at least. I think I'll start by gathering info on the ca kidnapping. Although I'm pretty sure we established that... Uh, yeah. I'll talk to the minister, don't worry. And the only way I know. 
I mean, I imagine that's like part of it anyway, given that we, uh... I'm pretty sure we know that the kidnapping's a fake. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh... Uh, I'm not a dream. Looks like it's a waste of time talking to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. <laughs> oh god, that'd be tormenting a dude. Please stop tormenting me inside my own head. <laughs> That is a fantastic line. <laughs> I just used my mouse wheel to try and go through this menu. <laughs> I thought I'd just let everyone know that. <laughs> I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want the justice minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own ministry, but I'm not the kind of guy you can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Oh, there is some audio skip there. Justice Minister's daughter has been abdicated, uh, abducted, not abdicated, very different. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death throw President Joe to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct right was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Next time, maybe, you should ride a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Oof, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay, that's what I like about you. You see, I'm a masochist. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Ah yes, always keeping a smile on a lady's face. Right, my dear. There, see that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. It was just taking a little breather. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. Okay, she really was kidnapped. It looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. Something else is bothering me too. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in this to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Yeah! I noticed that as soon as I saw that mechanism 
taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. Oh, we get to learn what kidnapping means. Is there any tricks of those without the powers of the dead come up with? However, if I take this precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing, before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll read the thought bubble. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. Those ghost tricks are kind of addictive. <laughs> I feel that. We can swing this one. Oh, shit. Okay. Spin faster. Ah, yes. I'm gonna let's see if I can get this. Oh, okay, it's there. We go. of recall. These are, yeah, these don't have actions. Can lower a shade, candles, seance. Is that a, okay, you can't see the top screen, but actually you know, I have a second one for this. Okay. And then a mantle clock. Gotcha. Okay. That's probably because the audio got screwed screwed up there. Yeah, that makes sense. Since my audio got screwed up and I just had to bunch add a bunch of new audio captures, I don't think I fixed the dual capture the two double screen capture version, which is fine because I doubt I'll be going back to that scene anytime soon because its top screen is just kind of unnecessary for this game, at least for the viewers. It just takes up too much screen, so I don't think we'll see anything. But thank you for letting me know. The shelf is suspended by very thin cords. They look like they're about to break. It would be quite a spectacle if they fell. If something can break, it kind of makes me want to break it. Huh. I don't know this thing is... You light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in this room, it's something like this really necessary? But something like can be it. It kind of makes me want to light it. I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. Oh! Wait, are we gonna murder this guy? 
That would be an escalation. Darn. I can't reach my destination from here. Oh boy, we're gonna murder someone. Okay. Alright, I said I wouldn't switch back, but just for a little second here. <laughs> okay. Alright, we have this ball, and now we have the balance toy, and then we got Party Popper, Cake Box, and a different party popper. Okay. I can't do much other than move it up and down. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. That's all he has to say. If he was any more laid out back, he'd right fall off that crate. Look at that stream of ghosts spinning round and round. Now how could I make use of that? I mean... I think it's moderately clear what we do with it. We're gonna cause the fan to spin around faster and set it on fire and then our very suspicious explodey doll <laughs> is gonna gonna do something can I I probably shouldn't have tried this because I don't think this does anything because I can't get off of this before it falls again dang Oh wait, never mind, I guess. We have to make it burn brighter first. Or maybe I was wrong and I could... Yeah, let's, let's do this first. All right. All right. That was just a pure guess on whether that was the right timing or not. I'm glad it worked out. There we go. All right. This is such a suspicious doll. Alright. Alright. Now if it's my suspicion... Let's see what this does. Oh. Just my imagination. You're like those Metal Gear Solid guards that just have like 10 things around them. <laughs> seem super suspicious and then they just do nothing because they their AI isn't that well programmed. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
Oh. <laughs> Just my imagination. See, it had me excited for a second where I thought we were going to murder that guy so we could use his core as a way to get to this, the case. <laughs> That's where my mind instantly went on what we would do. Although that would definitely be a little dark for this game. <laughs> to where we use our ghost powers to murder people so we can use their cores. <laughs> All right then, what in the? What's going on here? This little lady is I know. Really a daughter of the Justice Minister? No. Just my imagination, you know? What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I just wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. I would say those awful things about this house. Hmm. This house is where I used to live. What? So much de plot development. I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I never understood. Actually, you know. Actually, you know, I, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Maybe I will. I don't know. This dynamic here between these two is like, it's something. <laughs> All right. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why are we at this school? Oh, that guy's back, Archie. Yes. Then just like, I understand how he gets into the relationships he does. Cause you're just like, I see him and I'm just like, I hate you. You also want me to hate you. And so that makes me hate you more. <laughs> and then I'd be like, it's like, that's how they get you. It's just people who just relentlessly want to be dominated. And I'm just like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'll stop talking because, yeah, I'll, I should stop talking. <laughs> Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who, who got to chose this location. Oh, I see, I see. It's been empty for five years and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course, of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. How old is she supposed to be? She's like Lynn's little sister or some shit. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. Oh yeah, I, I gather that she's not actually, she's like a, oh, I thought she was like a little sister. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cause I'm just like, I can't tell if she's like supposed to be a child or not. Cause she definitely comes off as like a child. Okay. Got it. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here?
Or wait, no, did I miss a thought bubble? What in the world? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that? And it also means somebody else must have saved her? I better ask her what happened. A book. I wonder what the little lady is reading tonight. An exciting adventure story, maybe? Although she's already getting quite a bit of excitement for one day. Oh, hey. I wonder if it's Jode who has a... is the ghost trick person. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Oh wait, did Missile save her? Oh shit, did- it did- <laughs> Oh shit! You mentioned Missile would come back. Did Missile develop ghost trick powers? <laughs> That'd be a fucking plot twist. <laughs> Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her, I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor- little thing this is i can hardly i can hardly tell the poor little thing that this is the land of the dead the land of the dead does that mean i'm dead darn i forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world you can relax you're not dead but this isn't the first time you've been here apparently really i don't remember wait a minute maybe i do remember sort of you do it looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well <laughs> Hmm, so there's some other dead person out there with special powers, huh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't want remember dying. Do you mind if I ask a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. <laughs> sissy, eh? <laughs> oh. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. The park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I gonna do? Lynn's gonna be mad! She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know where. I'll pretend I don't know. You know? You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before... Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better go let Lynn know. This is your old house? Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know, she's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is he the justice minister? My father is gone. Gone. Maybe he passed away? Don't tell me her father is the person Joe killed. No, that's not it. My dad, he's going to die, and it's all because of me. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, no, wait, no, wait a minute. Her father is Jode. Okay, never mind, because I was going to be like, that would be weird if her father... Okay, this makes a lot more sense and would be a lot less complicated of a narrative <laughs> than if it was the other, what I was suggesting. It's called an execution. My dad is... 
a detective. No way, don't tell me your father is Detective Joad. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. It was Mom's birthday that day. Mom and Dad were working and I was home by myself. Then I had an idea I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. Oh no! Camilla, no! You set up a murder machine! <laughs> I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? Oh no, <laughs> Camilla, why? Oh no. What? What? That was not the plot twist I was expecting. Oh no, Cabela, you murdered your mother! Mom! Mom! What was that noise? Cabela, no! What? I still can't believe it happened. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. It wasn't supposed to work like that! Hmm, I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake, a birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed, he asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tragic and a, a little, a little contrived. I can't believe it. This little lady's Detective Joad's daughter? I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. There are no secrets in the world of ghosts. Maybe we better stop talking, it's too dangerous. Sissy? You're not going to talk to me anymore. I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, Sissy. I don't think I promised. <laughs> What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet him here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. I don't like this one bit. I have to run around doing all this extra work for the sake of this, his deal. Be quiet. I can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. The sense of something here in this room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady.
She's gonna die in there, you know. I was just randomly reminded of... Okay, never mind. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very, very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know all about this? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. There's some of that, that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? All right. And I think we'll stop there for actually. All right. Well, everyone, this is where normally I would switch to my full up camera face, but that would probably mean that my audio would stop working. So we won't get the full up face, but this was a lot of fun. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Flora Kraken. Without you, I probably wouldn't even be playing this wonderful game, and I definitely see why you enjoy it. It seems very fun. <laughs> I do enjoy this game. All right. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone has those games. You make everyone play Ghost Trick. <laughs> I was going to say I make everyone play Hello, Charlotte, but that's gone so poorly, like... That's true. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I was going to say I was like that with Hello Charlotte, but I have only ever gotten people being absolutely devastated <laughs> by the time that every time I've done that, it does not go well. <laughs> or even that doesn't go well, but people get really upset. And so I think I've stopped. I'm going to stop doing that. I think the other the only game I do that with other people is with what else other games do I do that with? I do that with Luca a little bit. Although I've never gotten anyone to play that, but I fear it will get the worst react a similarly bad reaction. But you know, I should probably find happier games to share with other people. <laughs> Alright. Let's do the fun thing where we find someone to raid. Alright. Who be who be streaming? Mm -mm. Not too many people be streaming. Okay. Let's see. Is anyone streaming? Ooh, let's go see if anyone's playing Ghost Trick. Are we the only person playing Ghost Trick? Yo, no, it's the other people are still here. It's Nilla Bean streams. Let's go raid them again. We raid them every day. <laughs> Let's see, can I... Oh, that's the wrong button. All right, let's see, does this work? Woo! Do we open it? Yeah, do we... Okay, that doesn't... Alright. Good night, everybody. Yeah.